Good afternoon, Carthage Esports. I, I'm joined here with usually a commentator, but tonight, an interview. <laughs> I know, How I'm you excited. been? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, Overwatch has been, it's been a very fun few weeks, so um, it's good to be having a little bit more playing experience than yeah. we were last season. So um, I'm, I'm excited for tonight. I'm excited for next week as our final game in Overwatch 1. So it's going to be a little bit emotional, you know, because a lot of us have been playing it for five, six years. And, of course. Um, having it kind of end, in a sense, it's just kind of, it's it's interesting, you know. It's something that, um, it, it's comparable to, you know, like a football player playing their entire life and just yeah. saying, yeah, we're, we're not doing football anymore. So I, It can't be too much different, but your uh, Overwatch 2 is getting rid of, of one tank. Yes, and which... It's gonna change everything it really does change everything all of our strategies are just gone um there's some hero reworks that make heroes you know a different play style um some better some worse so it genuinely feels like a whole new game especially with the addition of a new game mode and a bunch of new maps oh, so for it sure. really is a completely different experience and, and we're gonna basically have to just relearn the game in a mm -hmm. sense and from the start, there's going to be three new heroes. Uh, I'm I'm seeing we got Junker Queen, we got uh, uh what's Sojourn. the other? Oh, it's a Sojourn, and the latest one that came out, the the new support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, K Kiriko. K Kiriko, she, yeah. She came out literally. They announced her yesterday. Um, but as a support main, I think Kiriko is going to be. Um, she's very very cool. I yeah. really like. I really like her kit. Um, I love just some of the things we're going to be able to do as a support now, um, adding in more of a aggression, um, with that, that extra, those, those, uh, kunai to, yeah. to do damage, <laughs> uh, but having her ultimate ability be basically just, uh, boost the team and all stats going in a certain direction. Um, her healing ability just overall, all around, just an awesome hero. Um, and I'm really excited to see how she, you know, Junker Queen and Sojourn, how they, change things and how i can feel about them for sure it's going to be extremely exciting but also a little bit nervous going into it but how, how are you feeling tonight i'm ready we, our team has um has been basically studying them we got a lot of uh content that we watched a lot of film reviews so um it i'm i'm very excited to see now it does look like we are about to start so i gotta go head out there all right uh, but replacing me is the phenomenal as always tanner See you, bearded man. The high wheat then shoves that right over to the lion's half. Looks like this one's going in. Oh, are you kidding me? Don't I ask? Oh, don't go. over the high. We're gonna see the barrage. The barrage. Oh my gosh, Nico is just dominating right now. What a play! That's disgusting. Oh my gosh, that was disgusting. Here we go, Firebirds. We are getting started here on map number one, Oasis here. As the Firebirds starting lineup will be Nancakes, Donut, Fuzzy, Lunar Synergy, Shinbone, and Psychopreds. Nancakes seems to be uh, auto-locking that Baptiste. Oh, for sure. You always. Know always. always. <laughs> Baptiste man right there, Nancakes. Donut will be playing Wrecking Ball. Fuzzy will be on Brigido, which we do not actually see that often uh, out of the Firebirds, so I'm excited to see how that mm -hmm. goes. Lunar Synergy, our hit scan, will be playing Cassidy. And Shinbone on Genji, I love his Genji. I just love seeing Genji <laughs> play. Very excited. Psycho Preds will round it out as Winston. As we get started here on a control map to start us off for the third week of the uh, NECC Scrim Series. We are going up against King's College right now. Uh, I'm sure this has all gone over, but I'm just giving my little game. Oh, no, I, I should have not been going. Oh, all right, yet. we're going against King's <laughs> College tonight. Uh, in a best of five maps, their starting lineup will be Faintest Aircraft TP Nunivac, Christian Virgio, and Ak Ooh, all right, let's see here. Uh, Akash, 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 Akash Antara, I believe. Uh, those are fun names. Here we go. Firebirds <laughs> seem to be maintaining a great amount of pressure on the point right now. They did drop Psychopreds there, which is going to be a big nuisance for the Firebirds because that leaves them without a main tank and shields. Uh, and so it will be tougher for them to really make control of the point, but they do seem to pull it out anyway, as they do seem to win the fight against the King's 
college team here as they will get yes three four and that should finish oh, off wow. five as the rest of as the rest of them go down and the firebirds will get control of point first uh the composition for the king's college that is a sombra which i always find very interesting because you almost never see sombra oh for sure very interested in seeing that uh we have brigida again uh and then orissa moira reaper and diva so it's Kind of a half dive composition there for the King's College team here. Yeah, it's a nice hybrid. It's really nice seeing that Sombra, just like what you said, kind of like more of an assassin type sneaky, sneaking yeah. around. Definitely All requires that. working with your team a whole lot more. And let's see what they can do. Luda Synergy taking out the Moira and Nancakes taking out Virgio. And double kill on the Orissa. That full hack goes up. Yeah, there's Sombra. there's the hack. You know the the ultimate does seem to go through. We are going to try and fix that audio error error though. So we will cut to a quick break here as the Firebirds are up sixty percent. We'll catch you up right when we get back. And we're back here. We seem to now all have audio. We can hear the game, which is going to be very useful on, our, on us being able to relay the information to you. Firebirds do no longer have control of points. They've up to 89% before dropping it to the Alliance here, uh, who have a great ult advantage right now. Four, yeah, just about four ults ready to go. Almost a kill. So the Firebirds are now all the time on the start you know Score. <laughs> it, it was, it was uh, scary when that they retook the point back and uh got up all the way to 90 98 percent i know that i believe all the way back to 99 percent and then they got it in overtime they got mm -hmm. the point back and they were able to take 
round number one firebirds now up 1-0 uh, for control maps you play three sets of these maps where there's a single point where you're constantly battling for you guessed it control of the point <laughs> uh and wh whoever reaches 100 percent first two times out of the best of three will be the team that takes map number one Five, firebirds are now up 1-0 they're just trying to lock three, it down and get a clean sweep two, on map one so one, they move on to map number two which i believe two, is capture the point, objective which will have a capture the point as well as an escort the pavement section for the firebirds they're going with a similar composition but we will see a change in the tanks we go with the reinhardt and the zarya this time around instead of two hours right there nan cakes and fuzzy did just doing so much absolutely are Nancakes showing that he's basically can be a dps at times shin bone watching from the sky waiting for the team to come out he'll probably try and drop in the back line and just take advantage of uh the shield not being around the back that means going to be a little bit of a problem the firebirds had the final picture is either week one or week two with a may as Nanky will also go down with the support and the DPS down. Seems like we are also about to lose oh. a tank and down goes Reinhardt. So the Firebirds will lose this fight on point and the possession will go back to the Lions. Firebirds taking about 40% on the points, so not too bad. They got a lot of time they can work with to try and take it back. So let's see what they choose to do. Yeah, no change in composition here for the Firebirds. They will have three, almost four ults at their disposal as Fuzzy should get their ult during this next team fight here. For the Lions, we got two ultimates at the disposal. It's about halfway to a third. One of them is on the DPS. That may a blizzard might be very helpful. And there it is, the May Wall. Oh my oh. god! Great stun and shoot by Lunar Synergy there, getting the headshot. That May Wall is usually such a big problem for the Firebirds. As they usually like to have it. The opposing team usually takes advantage of the fact that they can split up the Firebirds. It doesn't work this time. The Firebirds combine a bunch of ults to get this point back immediately. Wow. <laughs> And ultimately, boop off the uh, the Cassidy from the top line. Gets the elimination there. Just mercy left. And the Firebirds will be able to take the point back. It's funny to see Mercy uh, with that ultimate. I remember back in the day when she used to be able to res the entire team. Now she just flies around like a bug. Yeah, there's <laughs> not my favorite ultimate in the game by any support standards. Uh, and it wasn't that useful there for the Lions as Mercy was pretty much only able to just escape with no damage as the Firebirds get geared for the third oh, one. Firebirds have the high ground, dropping down a little bit that helps out. Jonah does have Shatter at the ready. Cassidy is seen up top and immediately Jonah with the reaction and shield all that. Gets no value off of it. Cassidy versus Cassidy. Lunar Synergy rocking the Golden Dome. <laughs> I wish I could have found that. I don't really have a board, I think, for that one. It's just how often you win competitive games. That's yeah, I can't afford like, the time to get this amount. As the Firebirds, great play by Faint just there. Should lock down the point again for the Lions, as the Firebirds will drop the point here. Still on 97%. 97 yeah, so one more bad. team fight win. The Firebirds should have control of the point and take the first map. So this is gonna have to be a really impressive uh, stand here by the Lions in order to take this. And the gear and Firebirds are going from the side of the <laughs> Donut waves hello before the start of the fight. As the Lions elect to take the high ground here, we see Roadhog drop down, gets a hold of Nancakes. Nancakes throws down the Immortality Field, able to stay alive and get out of there because of the shield by Donut. Firebird playing around that, uh, that Mabel perfectly. Oh, the faintest conversion you know, will get two picks. That's going to leave the Firebirds in a tough spot without their, without their Zarya. Ooh, Dimbo and Lunar Synergy combining to get it right back, though. Waiting for one peak, and he'll get one at least. 
the fireballs push them off point. Oh! And Shinbo with the death blossom play of his life there to get three and ultimately take the point for the Firebird think, that's, as they that's win the map number one. <laughs> Very nice. No, that was really well done. I was a little bit scared. There was a uh, ultimates weren't working out too much in the start you know yeah, the, the mean, lines were playing out really course, well here we have it shinbone <laughs> play of the game here finishing it off with one of the best ultimates of the game so far oh was this it yeah it was there yeah. oh i didn't know didn't know it started with the pick back there yeah and neither was else the supports insane there by shinbone you know whenever i try and do that it's just it doesn't seem like i do as much damage but then when <laughs> yeah, it's I anyone agree. else yeah, I agree. it's just and then it just one shots everybody i i don't understand and i think that's across every single game for me i would have to agree are uh, we just cursed i think it's just us it's just us that's why we're stuck behind the desk and not actually in front of the screens Honestly, probably that well as I we can't. think about that crisis <laughs> uh, we're gonna cut to a quick break before we go to map number two Well, we're back, Firebirds, here on the hybrid map, King's Row, a Firebird favorite. I think they have, they're about, I think, one and one so far on this, on this map, uh, as they got very close, I think, their first week, and then finally got it last week. <laughs> Firebirds do make a substitution here, as we will have Galahad in for Fuzzy, 
uh, our bearded man. Mm-hmm. And then we'll also have Aurelius in for Psycho Preds. I don't – actually, I do see – honestly, I don't know. All their names are very, very creative, to say the least. So I'm not sure if there's a substitution, so I'll read off the uh, start oh, lineup Oh, wait, here. we have a thing. You guys down to run one. goats for a practice for Overwatch 2? <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> uh, Baintus, <sighs> Aircraft 20, TP Nunivac, Christian Vergio, and Akashantara. For the lions here, I like the Sigma skin on Akash and Tara. Very, oh yeah, very, My very Astro. gentleman. <laughs> uh, as the Firebirds will have Nan kicks on Baptiste, Donut on Reinhardt, Galahad on Mercy, Lunar Synergy on Widowmaker, Shinbone on Hanzo, and Aurelius on Zarya. The big difference in the team is mainly in the Five. DPS. We have two oh. snipers for the Three. Firebirds two. and two hit scan for the Lions. So let's see which one will prevail. Yeah. Oh, and there's the first going going from the from the from the top rope there, as the uh, Lions will take an interesting high ground approach. Very smart by them. I don't see many teams actually go for this approach. Firebirds gonna have to play around this uh, very wisely. They will start taking the first point though. Shinbone almost goes down and is able to get out of there first. We are sitting here waiting for the first pick. Firebirds lose a lot of health, but thankfully we got the uh, Baptiste Immortality Field. But down goes Virgio on a pick from Shinbone. Here comes Donut putting in some aggression. He's got Shatter. Firebirds trying to focus that main tank. Oh! They'll get both. Oh! Nice. Oh, no, nice. To get a support and that, and that main tank or off tank, they're both off tanks. <laughs> and waving greetings. Waving hello. <laughs> See you later as the Firebirds will take the first point in exquisite fashion. They're going to get a lot of time for this push. It's going to be five minutes and. Absolutely. Oh, wait, is there no. Oh, there's the yeah, oh, yeah, oh, it takes a little bit and it has an animation to go through. It does allow for. Uh, for the Firebirds to not be able to push up too far, which I think creates a nice little balance that way. Even though the Lions can still hold the control of the Lions by the time that card starts to actually move. But it's just only folks right here. Uh, in any case, taking a great high ground position. I don't think I've ever seen it really taken before. Great healing going on here by the case. The Firebirds continue to unload. Just around the corner Ooh. on the line. Ooh. Nan Kicks windowing just herself there. Uh, Iron Needle pushed off the high ground. This is a power move. We must see the ultimate there by Akash and Tara. But I'm not, not getting any value there thanks to the immortality field. Firebirds stay alive and we'll keep on pushing here. We got Galahad going for the ultimate. Donut with the shatter and the nano, uh, not the nano blade, the uh, Genji blade is out. Amazing aggression right now. Yeah, and the Firebirds are just marching through. Very great job by them. Nice shot there by Lunar Synergy. Aurelius will continue it, as the Firebirds might just roll all the way to the second point on that alone. <laughs> huh? Yeah, and still with a lot of time to spare. This is really looking good for the Firebirds. Yeah, Lunar Synergy with an ultimate that could just create space. Yeah, Firebirds should be able to take this point right here. Plenty of time to spare. <laughs> Very interesting here. And there it is. Now they've got five minutes just to go the last little length here. Firebirds have been rolling so far. We'll see if they can continue that pattern. Another golden gun here. Everyone know the watch. Y'all are so sweaty at this game. <laughs> and we continue here as the Firebirds looking for that first crucial pick. We do have the Orisa Bongo going right now. Oh, nice teleport by Virgil into the back line, but the Immortality Field saves the Firebirds again. Great play there by Nan Cakes. You know, we've said it before and we'll say it again, like, geez, those are more ground and feels are amazing. And what a combo oh, there! What a combo! Zarya and Hanzo work together to take care of three, four, almost five of the Lions there. Wow! wow. Energy followed it up great. Firebirds are just absolutely steamrolling through this. Oh. Another great shot there. Are these our Firebirds? What happened in the, in the past week? They are turning up huge. Lunar Synergy is just going to create the space. Wow! wow. Firebirds take. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> take an incredible push on round number one there. As they've got Four. over four minutes left Three. on the clock. Three. Jeez, I, I, I have nothing else to say that incredible I, I, 
Wow, just incredible by the Firebirds. If they put up even half that effort on defense, they are gonna be rolling into map three up 2-0. Jeez, that is, that is not a lot of time. <laughs> No, that is just amazing. As always, Nan Cakes with the Immortality Fields, they're just they're just perfect, you know? Always knows when to put them down, and it always saves teammates. I want to see the statistics after that. How many lives yeah, does Nan Cakes save? Yeah, those Immortality save? Fields, they definitely, I think they single-handedly won a few fights for the Firebirds. Oh, of course. Like, there's no doubt about it. It's just, especially with that Reaper flank that went around, and it almost got two Firebirds that killed right then and there, even without ult. And the, the mortality feels like, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Absolutely. We're pushing this. We're finishing it right here, right now. <laughs> Just wow by the Firebirds, to be honest. <laughs> I'm excited to see how they do on defense. They're going with the same composition for defense. If it ain't broke on offense, why fix it? As the Lions will elect to go for a similar composition. Not the exact same. I thought Faintus was going to try and play Widowmaker at first, but instead will elect to just stay as Soldier 76. Shinmon's going to shoot the info gathering in there just to get a good feel. Donut playing a very cheeky angle here as the Firebirds. Oh no! Oh no! Faintus! Firebirds are no, no. up in the first fight, and Donut will get away after being healed by Galahad. Very well played. Didn't need to put that pressure on them. That was just really well played. Wow. Firebird doing a wonderful job of feeding their main tank, and Donut just a great player overall. Able to just take advantage of all the opportunities given to him by his teammates through the Zarya shields, through the Galahad of uh, Mercy heals, and the power buffs. Ultimately playing wonderfully through the immortality fields given by Baptiste. Right now the Firebirds are just playing as one cohesive unit, and it's just wonderful to see in a scrim series and i hope that once we transfer over to overwatch 2 we get the same level of synergy of course i hope the exact same thing it's just it's such a bummer without a pain you know you're taking one of them out of the lineup it just it absolutely hurts but of course seeing the amount of skills there is right now you know yeah fire is in my passing here they are still holding that first choke point and the lions are down to just under three minutes left on the clock they're getting close. They've got two alts. Firebirds almost have two, maybe three alts at the ready. Earth Shatter's completely ready. That'll be a great counter for the Firebirds to use. Great heals by Nancakes once again. There's, there's, the, uh, uh -oh. there's the Hanzo ult. We do get an immortality field. It's going to be combined. Great job by Phaegis there on the uh, Soldier 76 ultimate there. And the Firebirds do seem like they're going to lose this first fight. Very well played there by the Lions, combining a few walls, taking up space. They forced the Firebirds off one point with the Hanzo ult, which forced them right into the hands of Faintest, who just cleaned up the rest. Yeah, it's really well done, and they're gonna get a lot of time now. Oh my god, oh. actually the Firebirds make it back to point. <laughs> Contested for a second there. Don't have just wanted a few more seconds kicked down. I totally respect it. But now they're gonna start to push this first choke, trying to get as much space as they can before Donut responds. Absolutely. We got Galahad healing up the teammates, making sure everyone's looking good. Shinbone gets the recon dart at the ready, I believe, as the Firebirds are trying to hold that first initial choke point. Firebirds do have four ults at their disposal. So they've got plenty of things to use. Oh, wow. The combo of the Firebirds will take out TP Nudivac, which is going to be of great use. They will be countered with the Zarya ult there, which will also make those ults a little useless. Lunar Synergy will get oh, no one with the ultimate there as the Firebirds just try to hold them off. Dona will 1v1 the Hanzo here. Needs some heals badly. Galahad will be there to help out. Oh, oh. Just an all-out brawl right here on this little point. Donut will go down. That's going to be very huge for the Lions yeah. as they take out the Firebird's main tank and keep marching. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be really bad for the Firebirds. they got to pray that they can uh, hold this this next choke point. Absolutely, here we get, uh, get going. You know, Lions are making some really dang good time here. They are, they are making good time. They, they are answering the Firebirds with a very great push of their own. You gotta respect it here. I think the only flaw that the Firebirds fixed out of the Lions playstyle is they did not allow this point to be taken oh. so easily. But the Firebirds will get two, three, four, and five, six kills there. 
Oh, wow. While Galahad will res Aurelius, Firebirds absolutely wipe him. That wasn't colorblind. I, I would uh, know what happened there, but that was just one after the end. Another. That was great. <laughs> Here we go as the Firebirds get ready to hold that initial choke all over again. Bane just trying to get a quick little pick. Give the Lions the number advantage they're looking for and give them some sort of like edge going into the fight here because the Firebirds have just been really good at just placing their alts well, excuse me, pacing their alts well. And Virgil will start with the pick on Shinbo. So there we have the Aurelia assault. Real slow going down. Lunar Synergy will get the pick on Phaetus. They're going after Mercy. That's a very well played by the opposing Mercy to make sure that you can get the heals on the Sigma while still using the natural cover to stay out of harm's way. Right now, it's just trying to find that next pick who to go after. They find the Hanzo, and Hanzo takes out Shinbo. Oh, it's a energy trying to breathe here. Take the shot, and there it goes. They were to land the shots there in the end. All in that oh, work. That's going to there to the go. Great pick there on the Moira. Firebirds get the immortality field on Donut. And ultimately push back and win another team fight by taking out the tanks. A minute 20 left for the Lions to push that last little segment along. Donut trying to get a quick pick with the fire strike. As we see the Lions basically back at square one here. And it left. They got this kind of pretty much the last big push, so hopefully the Firebirds can just stall for time. Right here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, see it. Nancy's put down the uh, window. It's going to be combined with the McCree ultimate. Luckily, everyone gets out of the way in time. Very nicely done by the Lions to get out of the way of that. Oh! But ultimately, it does make the Firebirds just have more of that time wasted. Lunar Synergy saved by the immortality field there. Just a great job by Nancakes once again as the Firebirds continue to roll along here, holding them off at the main choke. Aurelius will go down, which means no more bubbles there. We'll get the res immediately by Galahad. Is that another clutch res there? As the point is basically pushed almost all the way back to that first choke with only 20 seconds left. Oh, this has got to be huge here. Down goes Nancakes. Down goes Aurelius. Down goes the immortality field. Oh, the no. Firebirds. Now on their last legs here. Donut just barely escapes with his life. We'll probably go down here. And there goes Donut. Firebirds will give up this first point. I, I mean, the second point, I believe. Oh. And just will guarantee that with the ultimate there. Yeah, really well done. Minute 30 will be added to the clock. And now here is probably the toughest point in the game. Yeah, Fantas switching over to the far seems to be working until, until you got Lunar Synergy almost one shot hit, yeah. one shot killing you there. But it's nice to have a Mercy on your tail too, just constantly healing and giving you that extra damage help, but it, when you have Shinbone on your tail, it's just not good. A little pharmacy combo. And there we have our favorite combo we've seen so far, the Zarya Han in the world, able to take Fantas, Arkansas, wow. and Virgil all out. Immortality Field saves Donut. He stays inside it. Very well done by the Firebirds. They will win another team fight. Nunivac just kind of fell off the map. And the Firebirds pushed them all the way out. I think, uh, actually, the, I think they hit themselves with their own black holes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> As the Firebirds continue to hold this choke only for 30 more seconds, this is probably the last fight before overtime. So if you're mm -hmm. in the case of the Lions, you uh -oh. have to take the point here and hang on to it for the rest of the map. And that's just the force oh, overtime. But here comes Dona with the shatter at the ready, waiting for that perfect opportunity. Absolutely. Uh oh. There's an apple cover, but I do think Earth Shatter goes under that, uh, under the hero. I think so now. Oh, 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 very great, uh, Zarya ult there. Lunar Synergy will still get a pick. Down three, three, one's brought back, down to the fourth, Fireball, Four, five, spot here, and we should lock down overtime in just a second here. Great stalling being done, but ultimately it will be futile as the Firebirds should take map number two. And there goes Donut for the celebratory jump. <laughs> Down goes Reinhardt in the abyss.
very very well played map there by the firebirds yeah it seemed that the Play the lines they got a lot of ground though they kind of figured out what the firebirds do really well and did a lot of things to oppose them it's just that one final hold for the firebirds really kept it together so hopefully on this next map firebirds will change up just a little oh, wow oh my gosh that was disgusting and we missed it in the entire <laughs> match somehow we missed i that. think that was the play i, I I, I didn't see i was distracted very well played by the firebirds they're now on match point and we'll be back with map number three in just a second here Match. And we are back, Firebirds, for map number three here. We have the Escort map. As we get started here, Firebirds do make a few substitutions. We have 
Fuzzy back in. We got JT Lule in for Donut here. We got Galahad, Lunar Synergy, Shinbone, and Psycho Preds rounding out the Firebirds here. And for the Lions here, we got Faintest Aircraft 20, TP Nunavak, Christian, Vergio, and Akashantara getting Ready started here as the Firebirds hope to win this series on this map. Yes. Yes, as we get started here, everyone's choosing their uh, choosing their composition here. Firebirds will be going fuzzy there on Ana. JT Lule will play Reinhardt. Galahad will play Lucio. Lunar Synergy will play Soldier 76. Shinbone on Cassidy and Psycho Preds on Sorry. Yeah, it's going to be really strong, but it, it it's not easy to see that we don't have that Baptiste in there. It's just like, I don't know what we do with that, those immortality fields. But still really nice. Ana's an amazing pick, and same with Lucio as well. So let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. For the Lions, we've got, we've got Reaper, Mercy, Orisa, Baptiste, Roadhog, and Ash. So we'll see how Ash another gold. Too much playtime in this game, guys. Too much. Too many gold mushrooms. I think I only have one, and I don't think I even play that hero anymore. <laughs> As JT Lule will block off. I love that Reinhardt skin. Yeah, very interesting here. JT Lule will keep on pushing forward. Tries to take out that Roadhog and just won't give up until he gets oh, there. Nice. As he takes out Virgio and TP Nunavak. Gets both of the tanks there as the Firebirds might already be at the first point. Shinbone will keep trying to take even more space there. And does so as the Firebirds roll into point number one and get five and a half minutes on the on the clock to get to the next one. Yes, a lot of time. And this one's a little bit different because uh, because it's a little bit different. They won't have two checkpoints before going to the final stretch, so they can even get a lot more time if they can push this quickly right now. Absolutely. Firebirds continue. Promise a missile, uh, missile chokehold here by the Lions. They soon have their setup, but as the shields go down, Psycho Preds goes in, and so does JT Lule as the Firebirds continue their aggression. JT, uh, Psycho Preds are almost 100% energy this entire time. Oh, here comes Bob. Someone's got to grab their halo, and it seems like the Firebirds might have just forgotten it a little bit here as they now fall back to get it moving. Oh yeah, you're right. No one was. I don't think anyone was on the payload there. Firebirds got a little overzealous. That sounds like what I would do with my heart kick. <laughs> As they start to push it now. Very, very nice uh, grenade there by Fuzzy. Uh, Fuzzy playing on a great counter to Roadhog. Beautiful. He really will take away that, uh, that healing ability. And ultimately it leads to a pick. And ultimately it will lead to a win on the team fight for the Firebirds as they continue to move ahead. Ash being the only one alive for the Lions and oh almost gets taken out. And Fuzzy oh. goes down, losing the aim duel to Ash Akashantara. Oh! And great trash there by Winner Synergy. Firebirds. Moving closer and closer to the second point. Three and a half minutes left on uh -oh. the clock for them. Lunar Synergy will go down with a nice hook there by Virgil. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 Here comes another Bob already. Yeah, wow, way to get that ultimate back and very quickly by Kashantara. Firebirds do have two ults at their disposal. They have a Psycho Preds, Zarya Bomb, as well as a Shinbone Reaper Death Blossom there. I'm excited to see if those they'll be used in tandem with each other or if they'll be used uh, apart. I can see them going with a play that you know puts the tanks in the diva bomb while Reaper drops on the back line. I think that could be an interesting play. Oh, oh my gosh, it's oh. right there to read the Firebird's movement. Oh no! Down goes Galahad, down goes JT Lule off of a great ultimate there by Virgil, who's stepping up huge for the Lions right now. Luckily, with that on a grenade, Virgil could not heal after that, so really nice getting him out of the way. Wonderful job there by the Firebirds. But I haven't, uh, I haven't seen a Roadhog. Lions, my apologies. Oh yeah. <laughs> really the Firebirds there. 
No, but I've never seen a roadhog blank that much and just take so much space around. It was like, a perfect read on what the Firebirds are trying to do, and Virgil's reading it again. <laughs> just kind of running around, like having a little vacation days, wanting to see their map uh, in Mexico. You know, it's really nice. Birds and wow, they felt fuzzy, but Jimbo quickly taking out Virgio. Yes, Firebirds now up to three ultimates, so I can see the Nano Blade going on the Lunar Synergy as he does his uh, visor. Oh, there's the visor. Very nice wow. pick there by Shinbo. And a little, a little, little bit of spray there, <laughs> shrugging it off. It ain't no thing. A minute 45 left on the clock. And Shinbone gets taken out by Ash. This is a very nice hold here by the Lions. As they just continue to work the Firebirds back further and further. Firebirds, I think, waiting for that final push there. They're going to get the Earth Shatter here. They're going to have five ultimates to use all at once if they really need to. They should only need a couple of them. There's the Zarya Bomb. Combined with the Fuzzy. Oh, no. Grenade, but there's a nice stun there on JT Lule. As the Firebirds don't seem like they're going to win this fight either. And another bottom. Down go the wow. Firebirds. Once again, a great defensive stand by the Lions. They just know how to use their space, and they have just great synergy right now. They're, they're all in sync with each other. And I, it, it's just completely full club for what the Firebirds had the last two maps. Absolutely it has. you got to commend the Lions for being able to switch it up so quickly. Uh, two maps down. Third is not going to be where they get rolled up through as the Firebirds continue to try and get past them, but to no avail so far. As we continue, probably the last Firebird push of the of the round. Yeah, they just look like right. it. three or four there as the Firebirds will lose another team fight. Yeah, Firebirds do not have any time. To make it back with a full team. So they will have to push immediately. Left. Galahad trying to get him in there with the Lucio speed buff. Shinbo to switch to Genji. Right now the team is in full movement mode. Second press also using. Using a little uh, Just trying to find the answer here. Galahad will use a beat drop. Firebirds do not get a pick though right off the gate. And that's going to be a tough thing to come back from as the Lions have great positioning all around this choke For sure. Yukash and Kara just raining on down from above. No Firebird is going to handle it. They yeah, have to get another it it happen. Down goes a couple of the Psycho Preds. Okay. They just will answer it right uh -huh. back with two of his own. Firebirds are running out of time here as this is just a completely staggered push. Yep, and they there it is. Drop round one here with only one point as the Firebirds were stopped pretty hard there before point number two. For sure. Did get a lot of space though of 86 meters, but however, you know, just with that one checkpoint, that's going to be really tough. Because this one, is, it's kind of easy to go through this place. You really want to try and get at least two checkpoints yeah. and try and obtain that third. But only one and 86 meters, I don't I don't know if that's going to do it. But let's see if the Firebirds defense is yeah, there. Yeah, we'll see if the Firebirds can step up defensively as the Lions only have to make it as far as the Firebirds did on that initial push in order to take map number three. And it looks like for the Ready Firebirds today on defense, Fuzzy is going to be for Merce... Uh, Fuzzy taking Mercy. Galad's going to be taking Brigitte. Nope. Anna, I'm just going <laughs> to... Uh, why do I... Oh, you always got away with the Firebirds. They're always changing their minds. Do, do you think they do it just to, just to mess with us? I do. I do. I think when they're watching the VODs, they go back home and they decide, you know what? What can I do to just make things a little bit tougher for Tanner and Toner? And... Uh, <laughs> This is what they've ultimately decided is going to be our own personal purgatory. Yeah, it is not fun. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go with Five, it right now. Four, I Fuzz believe it. <laughs> Fuzzy two, with Zenyatta. One. JT Lule for uh, Sigma. Galahad with Ana. So Lunar Synergy for Cassidy. Shinbone is taking Hanzo. And Cypher Prez with Rodog. For the Lions, we'll paint to start Cassidy Aircraft. On Mercy. 
Nunavik on Larissa, Christian on Anna, Virgio on Roadhog, and Akash and Kara on Benji here. But the Firebirds luckily get away with the first pick there. Yeah, but the line for two not wasting any time at all. Psycho Prince steps up big again. Heals up. Gets the hook ready again, but ultimately will oh, get it out, but a nice, nice healing done there by Galahad to keep him alive. Second press will go back to the top, trying to drop in the front line. We'll take out Akash and Tara. The Psycho Preds is playing phenomenally. Akash and Tara putting some stuff in the head. chat, apparently. I wish we could have seen what uh, what happened there. Yeah, I know, I know it's because Psycho Preds went up and immediately down went Akash and Tara there. Oh, Zenyatta getting a lot of damage done. Oh, wow. Wow, very nice play by Fuzzy there. I don't misplay using that uh, Lunar Synergy ultimate, but oh well as the Firebirds will win that fight, <laughs> stopping them just before the first point. Cassidy gets that ult fairly quickly, so hopefully it won't be too much of a drag, but Virgil takes out Galahad. That's going to be a really nice pick and lose. Lunar Synergy avenging Galahad very quickly. Two minutes will remain for the Lions. The Firebirds electing to just hold that initial chokehold right through the tunnel there. Does leave the opportunity for some of the opposition to come through the flank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not nice. a lot of touch there by Fuzzy. Oh, I say like a flat rocket league. Nice <laughs> shot there by uh, Fuzzy there, giving him a headshot. Nice! Oh, they got okay. a hold here. Absolutely countering that Genji to see it. Fantastic play there by Fuzzy. In the lore, and Zenyatta is the master of Genji. Of course, it's the only way that that uh, should have gone down. Oh, wow. Very, very great play there by Shinbone, who will get two. Lunar Synergy will get one himself. As the Firebird once again hold them off on the first oh, point. <laughs> that is very nice for the Firebirds. Got a lot of time down. And the stagger there at the end. Very well played by the Firebirds. A minute and a half left on the clock. Say about a two pushes left if they're lucky. I'd say about two if they if they play quickly. Shinbone being a little bit aggressive, trying to put a little bit more pressure onto the line. So it's just like, hey, you know, I'm still around. Don't JT Lule also elected to switch to a Sigma instead of a Reinhardt this time around. Oh! And there we have the, the flank I was talking about that the Firebirds had to watch out for. Does seem like they're handling it well so far. Psycho Preds getting alone and will be taken out there. Uh oh! There's the ultimate. I'm not sure where it's coming from. JT Lule might go down now. Oh no! Gets him and down immediately JT Lule. Firebirds have to play very carefully in order to take this, but it does not seem like they'll be able to. Got a lot of time down, though. And looks like two minutes and 30 seconds will be added for a total of three minutes to push it all the way to that. I'd give it 40-some meters. Yeah, it'll be very right interesting the if the Firebirds can do what the, uh, what the Lions initially did as they... Hope to hold and take this game into a sweep, but the uh, Lions are going to do everything they can to push for game number four. My dragon strike is right. Two minutes and 30 seconds remain. Shinbo making that little fall out of that there. The ultimate is ready. Firebirds have two, three, almost four, four all to their disposal. As opposed to the Lions having three. There's the first one. It won't be oh, enough to save Faintus, though, as the Firebirds will combo some ults here. Get take care of the Murphy. Psycho Preds will get one. Lunar Synergy will get one. Shinbo will get one. And the Firebirds ultimately will win this first fight here, taking about a minute off the clock. That's going to help. But two pushes remain for the Lions. Oh. Very nicely done by the Firebirds. They hope to still just contain here as the Lions begin their second push oh. on to point number two. Here's a Widowmaker. Now, but easily gets taken out by Shinbone. Psycho Preds trying to play a little bit of a cheeky angle there. Will instead just have to fall back. As Akash and Tara now trying to line up the headshots, and Yana Ultimate at the ready, able to save the team if needed. JT Lule being healed incredibly well, getting about halfway to the ult. Galahad still has the Nano ready at any moment in case the Firebirds need it. 
Down goes Lunar Synergy as Virgil will be taken out by Galahad. That's a good trade there, a DPS for a tank. And the Pirates continue their onslaught and win the second fight as they will fall back. And Shinmon takes out Ventus again. Just almost immediately. Firebirds just have to lock it down for 60 more seconds. They've got two, almost three all to their disposal for these last, this last fight here. Let's see if they can do it. JT Lula is in a tough spot. Yeah, get the ultimate in a second. Like he can use it. There it is. Hopefully, we'll not be able to get gets taken out by Fuzzy. There's the ultimate right. by Hanzo. 30 seconds left. Firebird's in a great spot here as they stagger the Lions' offense. There is a Roadhog in the skies right now with an ultimate that the Firebirds are not aware of. However, the Firebirds do have four ults at their disposal, and Psychopreds almost having theirs. So this can this will be close. Ten seconds left for the Lions. Listen, the Firebirds find the Roadhog. The Firebirds are going to the left to take the high ground. Firebirds pretty much playing, knowing they, they need to they need to win this fight here. They do not want to have to play through all the time to get to the second point. And, and the Firebirds have to drop the ultimate, roll through, get the team kill, and win the match. <laughs> Great job there by the Firebirds as Carthage will win 3-0 against King's College. GG's all around. I'm giving my player of the game to Nan Kicks. I, I immortality fields <laughs> insane there absolutely crazy i mean i've been saying it for about a year or so it's just like i do not know how they do it is absolutely yes. insane the amount of times that the immortality field is just there always when you need it absolutely faint is there with a great play though that, that was fire but it's part of that stand they made on the uh defensive half mm -hmm. great what a, job overall. what a great team yeah, yeah it was I, a great match it was a great match to see uh, we will be back in just a quick second because Toner is going to have a post-game interview with one of our players. I'll be checking out for the night, so thank you so much for watching, but we'll be back in just a minute with a post-game interview. And we are back, and I have my first interview ever for this. And we got Shinbone with us. Yeah, how are you nice doing? Here. Um, just got back from a from a good game. Um, overall, I felt like I did pretty good. The team, the team had some nice chemistry throughout. Um, we had a little rough spot near the end, but we we got through it. Um, another sweep. Happy about that. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a good game all around. Um. We had some good opponents, but we we persevered. So for sure, I mean, like even from the first the first match, was just it was amazing. Great team synergy that we've seen. It's just like and so much improvement. I I would say from from last week, even though last week went really well. It's just I just keep seeing more and more and more. It it is just amazing. What 
new things did you bring to this game? Yeah, so um, we knew that we knew a little bit of where we were going to go against, and um, so we came prepared. Um, we knew t we focused targets. Um, for the very first round, we it was a little bit iffy, but afterwards we got really locked in. We, we were focusing our targets, and we were really getting those qu kills quickly, and so it was pretty nice um, to um, plan something and then execute it well. Yeah. And so... We came in with a plan and we did it for sure and it seemed like it got executed every single time it was just back to back and back a lot of team kills it was really nice to see and and like you mentioned before like that that third map there's a little little bit of trouble like uh not pu pushing it all the way on attack were, were you guys a little bit nervous about that um so we we're definitely experimenting a little bit um we had we had some people on roles they don't normally play um i was trying a little bit with the reaper um reaper is not one of the characters that i play that all too often um but yeah we we got the first point pretty early but we we're just a little bit mixed up a little out of position but and when we went on defense it was it was nice we we got back at it um we got back in our groove got some team kills and yeah for got, sure it around yeah and i saw a lot of kills coming from you and that was just absolutely wicked what are some things that you guys are looking to change a little bit for next week, or what what, what can we see? Um, so, we're, um, I personally think we could get a bigger map pool of what we're really good at. The maps that we're really good at, Oasis, King's Row, stuff like that. I would like to see us get into more, um, and so we're better prepared for sure. Um, but then also, um, we getting getting that team synergy up top notch. Um, alt management is a little thing that we have problems with, um, but yeah, um, I think we're in a pretty good spot. There's always room for improvement, but yeah. For sure, I I'm looking forward to it. And now just one last question. So how is all this going to change for Overwatch 2? Are you guys nervous a little bit for when it finally happens, that big switch over? Or what, what's your thoughts on it? Um, me as a DPS, I'm not too changed about it. DPS didn't get that much of a change. Um, but that tank roll, that tank roll got a mm -hmm. huge change, and some overall overall game balance things, less stuns, so more dive, um, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm excited because I love playing dive um, as a Genji main. But yeah, um, the overall game is gonna feel a lot faster. Um, no two CP, that's great. But yeah, um, Overwatch Two, it's exciting. A little nervous um, since everything that I knew is going to be gone. Yeah. But otherwise, um, happy, happy and excited to see what will happen next season. Great, great to hear. Well, that'll be it for us tonight. Thank you for everyone that tuned in, and have a good one. We'll see you guys next week.